Anyone actually defending the Pokemon company has rocks in their eye sockets. I cannot wait to start a war in the comments. I thought I would add to the uh, mystery of Power World, especially now that I've got a shaven beard and I'm confusing you. So what do I think about Power World versus Pokemon, etc.? Pokemon's frustrated me for years, hey. Like, I love Pokemon. Love it. I just lately, games have just let me down. And the franchise has just descended into, I think, laziness. Like I'm playing a game here, built by a small team. Now, I believe the budget went up as far as like 6 million, probably US. Now we're talking about the Pokemon company the largest media franchise in the history of the world. These guys have got money, okay? They've got money, they've got time, and they've got resources. The stuff they've been producing lately, ah, oh, dude. I played Scarlet and Violet. The lag, there's just so much wrong with the game, I'm not gonna put it I think this is healthy competition and Pokemon need to step up their game because people have been saying this for years now. Pokemon need to step up their game. Bro, anyone actually defending the Pokemon company has rocks in their eye sockets. Look at the quality of games we've received in the last 10 years almost. Disappointing. Graphics, features. Why make a feature like Megas and then just stop? Why do that? I remember when Sun and Moon came around, I was like, dude, they're going to make a Mega Soul Rock and a Mega Lunatone. Two useless Pokemon that are going to have a use. Like, such a cool idea. Nothing. Just stopped. Why? Ah, oh, we made Pokemon big. Z Crystals. What? And now the most recent endeavor. Hi, I'm Branson. Hi, now I'm Branson, but I'm a chicken type because I have a hat. Right, this is literally the new Pokemon games. For real, Scarlet and Violet is the best way that it can be described as this. Looks like this, runs like this. Do better. Do better, please. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep playing Power World. I'm probably going to keep playing Power World. I tell you, I'll come up with something better, because I'm done. People defending Game Freak and Pokemon and Nintendo and, you know, uh, uh, it is anti-intellectual. Stop lobotomizing yourselves to try and defend Pokemon, because you look stupid. Because anyone with a logical brain, right, they look at the game, and then they go... Oh, this is, uh, uh, this is like, yay. Bring back Megas. Every single person with a brain that likes Pokemon likes Mega Evolutions. If y'all just one day went, you know what? All right, every single starter's getting a Mega and they're coming back. And Flygon's getting a Mega. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'm telling you, you robbed us with no Lunatone or Soul Rock Mega. You broke my heart. It's been three good generations that you did anything good. Bruh. I might get some hate for that, but I don't care. Yeah, and don't say I don't like Pokemon, because, I mean, look at this shelf, yeah? A little Piplup doll here. Squirtle Shrine. I need help. Don't ever say I don't like the franchise. Don't ever say I don't like Pokemon, because it's evident that I freaking love it. I love Pokemon. I need to pick up their game, though. Literally. <laughs> they need to literally pick up their game, bro. Confession. I have never returned a Pokemon game in my life. I have always bought the hard cartridges. The only time I've ever returned a game, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I returned that game to the store. Traded it in. Don't want this anymore. I'm a loyal fan. I have every DS game. Every Game Boy Advance game, Game Boy Color game. BDSB did not deserve my money. And I'm a massive Gen 4 fan. That's like where my love really grew for Pokemon. You lost me. 
please save your game. It's not too late. This is on behalf of like every Pokemon fan, by the way. Like majority of us feel the same way. It's only those minorities in the comments, minorities, oh my gosh. The minority in the comments are running around going, Oh, can all you people stop complaining? Can you just stop complaining and just put up with it, please? No, I don't want stale bread. If you want stale bread and you're happy to keep eating stale bread, you can be that guy and eat your stale bread. The point is, I'm trying to make, why eat the stale bread when you can go to the aisle over and buy brand new, fresh, out the oven, baked bread? But you want to eat the, the stale, moldy, 25-year-old... Uh, uh, why? Stop defending their actions, guys. Rant over.